Hi there, this is Raju. Welcome to the my channel that is Java Tutorials World. In this video, I am going to explain about how to install Java on Windows and Ubuntu operating systems. First, we will see how to install Java on Windows operating system. To install Java, first we have to download Java software. I am using this oracle.com to download Java 8 software. So I will add this link in YouTube show notes. You can get it from there. And if we click on this download button, it will show Java 8 for different platforms. This is the software for uh, Linux, Mac, Solaris and Windows. If we see Windows, like there are two different versions of Windows. One is Windows X86 and the other one is Windows X64. This Windows X86 is for Windows 32-bit operating systems and Windows X64 is for Windows 64-bit operating systems. So, to download appropriate version of Java, first you have to know is your PC running on 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system. To know that, I will explain two approaches. The approach one is just open command prompt and then type a command called set pro. This will list set of directories. If you have a directory called program files x86, then your PC is running on 64-bit operating system. Generally, for 32-bit operating systems, you will have only directory called program files. You don't have a directory called program files x86. This is one approach. And the other approach and the easiest approach is just go to computer properties you will see a property called system type which will clearly indicate is your PC running on 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system. My PC is running on 64-bit operating system. So I will download this Java software for 64-bit operating system. Just to download that you need, you need to click on this accept license agreement and just click on this it will download java software i have already downloaded uh, this software now we will see how to install java just go to downloads just double click on this .exe file yeah just click on a next button it will give options like uh, developer tools development tools source code and public jre just uh, for our development purpose just we need to uh, uh, install uh, development tools and if we want to change the installation directory we can change here just i am installing i am going to install uh, this on separate uh, directory called java still installing and like now like uh, even like uh, we can change here like a destination folder uh, to install JRE also just uh, select the same folder Java folder next still it is installing takes a couple of uh, minutes to install that's based on uh, your processor speed and everything
yeah we have completed our installation we just completed installation of java to compile and run a java program installation of java is not enough we have to set path and class path first i will explain what is path and class path then i will show how to set path and class path first we will see what is path path is an environment variable on windows unix and mac operating systems this variable is used to specify set of directories where actual executable programs are located so now there is a question why we need to set path for our java actually like any other application java has also have binary files if we go to our installation directory we will see a folder called bin inside bin we will see inside bin we will see like uh, binary files like java.exe java w.exe and java cpl.exe to tell where this actual binary executable files are located we generally set path and now we will see what is class path class path is an one more environment variable which tells applications and tools about where to find class libraries and java compiler java runtime and other java tools searches for java classes that are used in your program at class path only if we go to class if we go to that installation directory we will see there is a folder called lib inside lib we will see uh, like various jar files if we extract this rt.jar file we will see we will see like uh, various dot uh, class files that we generally uses in our applications if we go to we can find various folders like uh, java and in, if we go inside java we will see like uh, lang package inside lang we will see various we are seeing various uh, classes like uh, generally uh, to print a statement into uh, onto console we generally use this uh, system class so we can see that class here like this is that class and if we come outside this like we will see like a java.io.io package like various classes in that particular package so to tell about all these classes where it was located to operating system we generally set class now we will see how to set path and class path i will explain two approaches to do to do that first we will set through command prompt to set path first we will set java home java home is the path of java installation directory in our case it is c java now based on this i will set path before setting path we will see what is the existing value of this path for that i am using a command called echo percentage path percentage this path is already pointing to different applications executable files now we will append our java path to this for that i am using a command called set path and percentage path this percentage path will represent this entire value of path now 
I will append our Java path to this. So for that I am using Java Home. slash bin semicolon and if we execute once again echo path we can see that our java path is appended now we will set class path for that we use a command called set class path and based on java home i will set this so this java home represents java installation directory for that to that i will add library semicolon so this sets path and class path but the problem with this approach is as soon as I exit this command prompt session this setting path and class path will gone so to set this path and class path permanently we can set through environment variables now we will see that now we will see how to set path and class path permanently to set path and class path permanently just go to compute my computer properties and inside that go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables if you go to environment variables we can find two types of variables one is user variables the other one is system variables if we set path and class path in user variables that is specific to that particular user if we set path and class path in system variables that is applicable to all users so as of now I am setting this path and class path in system variables just select a variable called path and click on edit we will append our java path to this so our java path is c java c slash java slash bin and a semicolon so just click on ok and now we will set class path to set class path give variable name as class path and our class path is c java lib and semicolon just click on ok and click on ok ok this sets path and class paths permanently now we will see what is the difference between path and class path path is used to locate JDK binaries like Java C and Java which are generally used to compile and run Java program and on the other hand class path is used is used by Java virtual machine and other Java applications to find class libraries the second difference between path and class path is path is used at operating system level whereas class path is used only by java the third difference between path and class path is the value for path is java home slash bin whereas the value for class path is java home slash leap these are all the differences between path and class path now we will see how to install java on ubuntu operating system now i will explain how to install java on 32 bit and 64 bit ubuntu operating systems 
for that first you need to check whether your operating system running on 32 bit architecture or 64 bit architecture for that you need to use this command this command will display whether your system has 32 bit architecture or 64 bit architecture and in general like ubuntu operating systems installed with open jdk so first remove open jdk by using this command then create a folder called java by using this command after creating folder download appropriate version of java based on your system architecture and after downloading that copy that downloaded software into this java folder and use this command to extract downloaded java software and use this last command to install java software on ubuntu operating system and after that use these commands to set path and class path by this you complete installation of java software on ubuntu operating systems that's it for now thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel